Hey, Bromfar, uh, how about you give me a lightning? Thank you. And that's the exit. Boy wants treasure. Got that already? I think we're done with treasure here. Because this whole forest is divided into sections. Ladies and germs, oh, ladies and germs, please never say that again. Working designs, why do you put that into Ronfar's dialogue? No, I'm gonna pretend I never read that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the beautiful and mysterious Star Dragon Tower. I'm gonna scout the area, make sure everything's okay. It, everything's cool, Daddy O, be right back. I hate everything. He actually just said Daddy O. Ah, my wind cramp, I gotta take a break. I know I've heard people say ladies and germs, by the way. That's a common thing. I've heard it, but I hate it. Lucia, why don't you sit down and rest? We still have a lot of walking ahead of us. No, thank you. Oh, isn't this, uh... We're gonna get, like, a cutscene here, aren't we? Lucia? Don't worry about her hero. If she doesn't want to listen to us, that's her problem. Okay, then. So, what's up? What's wrong, Lucia? I don't understand why you're helping me, hero. Why do you believe my story? And no one else does. What is it you see that others human other humans cannot? It's helping me just an adventure to you? Or do you conceal your true motives? It's because you're hot. What are you implying, Lucia? Hero's only helping you because he's a nice guy and that's it. Shut up, cat. Ruby, that's not exactly true. Yeah, look at my boy blushing. Hero, you can't mean it. You're, you're falling in love with- I hate this cat. No, I won't let you make the biggest mistake of your life. Listen up, Lucia. And you listen good. Hero will never be yours. He's mine, mine, mine. Can I kill this cat? Ruby, why are you acting like such a spoiled brat? Because she sucks. Hero, why is Ruby so upset with me? Uh, actually, Lucia, there's something I'm gonna explain to you first. When I was a kid. When I was a kid, I'd spend hours and hours reading all the books in my grandpa's library. They were filled with the most amazing stories, Lucia. My heart would race with excitement. I read about the four dragons, about magic cities clashing with the moving castles, and about the dragon master who saved the world from the magic, evil magic emperor. By the way, uh, Hero is basically summarizing the first game. In the first game, the dragon master, which is the... the dragon master is like the destined hero who is, uh... To stop the Magic Emperor. The Magic Emperor being Galleon from the first game. And Dragon em Dragon Master being Alex. Alex is the protagonist of the first game. And he his whole adventure is about becoming the Dragon Master. He looked up to Dragon Master dying. Basically. When I read those stories. I knew what I wanted to do with my life. I wanted to journey into the world. And have adventures like the ones in those books. They're going to have a cutscene later. Which is literally like it shows actual things that happened in the first game. It's going to be wild. I wanted to have such fantastic adventures that someone would write a book about me someday. When I first saw you at the top of the blue spire, Lucia, I knew. I knew you were going to lead me to the greatest adventure of my life, and you have- you You're a filthy liar, hero! You are lying through your teeth right now. You are helping her because she's hot. You even thought it to yourself back in LARPA. You say it, you came here to save our world, but you've also changed my life. That's why I'm helping you, Lucia. And that's why I'm going to get you into the holy city. Hero thought to himself, oh no. Her being hot isn't a good enough reason. I need a different reason of why I'm helping her. He thought this up. 
I don't understand everything you've told me, Hero. But I understand that you are definitely not like other people. You are unique. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment, Lucia. Hey, you're in there, Hero. I count that. Well, the Destiny is still parked in Dalton, so I'm guessing Leo hasn't been bailed out yet. But he'll come after us as soon as he's free. And he knows exactly where we're headed. Our best bet is to get into the Illusion Woods. There's no way he can find us there. Of course, there is also a decent chance that we won't be able to find our way out, too. What? I, kn I thought you were... I thought you knew where... Words. I thought you knew your way out of the woods, Rumfar. I surely don't, my pink pal. But I have a gambling buddy in the woods who surely does. He might still be a little upset about all the money I won, but let's worry about that later. I'm not really a fan of that portrait you're making. That face you're making on your portrait. Personally, but it's not the worst thing in the world. I don't know why I'm doing this again, but... Doesn't hurt. Dude, the writing in this game is really hilarious. I love it. I did say Hero was my least favorite of my pro of the protagonist of each of the three games, but he still has his moments. I am glad because Alex was basically a blank slate in the first game. I do like that they actually tried to give Hero a bit more character. Good stuff, good stuff. Hi there. Come far, you mangy dog. How about you give me the chance to win my money back? Win back my money. Buddy, while it would bring me infinite pleasure to put you into the poorhouse again, I'm not here to roll the bones. I want you to show us how to get through the woods. And here's the deal, gambler man. One roll of the dice, you win, and I show you how to enter the woods. I win, and you give back every last silver coin you swindled me out of. Now let's roll, Romfar. Jeez, this guy's not too bright. Hasn't he figured out that Romfar's dices are loaded? Way to go, cat! Do I have permission to kill this thing? I should have had permission. How about we not verbalize our thoughts, my pretty peach pet? You don't even deserve to call her a pretty peach pet after that. Thank you very much. Now then, I make the roll, you make the call, odd or even. Uh, give me a minute to read the aura of the dice. Um, uh, seeing blue, or is that red? While your retardation amuses me, I have a schedule to keep, so make a choice already. Well, okay, I'll go with the uh, odds. Yeah, I'm choosing odds. Well, how about that? An even number for me. Another humiliating loss for you. Let's go. Ah, how did you do that? Let me show you how to get through the woods. The sooner you're out of my sight, the better. I'm not going to do this twice, so watch closely. These thickets block the paths that lead deeper into the woods. Some of the thickest paths lead to the dead ends, though, and there's no way to tell the difference. You'll just have to explore every path until you find the right one. Hehe. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You've helped us out big time. Oh, hero, time to probe the bush. <laughs> Let's get this party started. How does working designs make me want to end my life? I did catch the hip, the, the, the curve hip thing, by the way, but I just kind of rolled with it. I'm used to it from working designs. I played so many of their games. Listen up, soldiers. Our fugitive has been on the run for a short while. She's in there somehow. I want a low-level search of every birdhouse, doghouse, outhouse, treehouse, henhouse, roadhouse. That's a lot of houses. Boathouse and penthouse within a two-mile radius. Man, Leo is the king of all these houses. We shall capture the rogue and her cohorts. The writing in this game is really, really good. It's, like, hilarious. They really tried to make this, like, you know, a funny game. Your betrayal will never be forgiven, Romfar. You threw away our friendship. To assist the destroyer and her consort in their damnable quest to end our existence, when I find you, your new friends, Romfar, you shall witness my unbridled anger. Well, good luck finding us, loser. Oh, Leo, Leo's just chillin'. Lord Leo, sir, I have completed my search and found no trace of them. I found nothing, sir. There's no sign the destroyer was here. The only person we found was a simple woodsman, sir. If the girl was here, she's long since gone. The destroyer has once again proven more resourceful than I hope. All right, men, return with me to the destiny. We're going around to the north side of the woods.
<laughs> oh, hi there. Oh my goodness, they charge at me. Oh, chat, it's coming. Best girl is on her way. Once we're at this dungeon, we got ourselves a wife. With the bird. Ferocious wind! Lady Luck, be kind! <laughs> Hello! Green goblins. Okay then. I guess we're doing this. Dodge this. Well, these aren't green goblins, are they? I think green goblins the one back there. There's a green goblin. Lady Luck, be kind. Fire breasted. What are these things? Hobgoblins. They are goblins, but they're not green. Dodge this. That'd be assignment. Oh, nice job, Brown Far. And damage. 30 is good. I need more attack power. I have three attacks, but it only does like 39 damage, which for three attacks, that's pretty bad. Oh, okay. Yo, an herb. Nice, nice. I call dibs. This place can be confusing, but luckily I have a map. Oh my goodness, my air condition suddenly made it super cold in my room. The bird with Poe Sword. Uh, definitely heal hero. Lucia, don't run away. I know you're worthless, but still. It makes me mad to see you run away. 64 damage. Dude, I hope the uh, caravan has a sword for hero. I'm in desperate need of a new sword right now. How dare you back attack me? Oh, night nate palm shot. Finally, she's doing something. Our Lucia does have offensive stuff. Oh, you're supposed to hit the bird, you dumb cat. Ferocious wind. Chat, I might actually hate Ruby more than Morgana. I almost said I hate Ruby more than Navaru, but I don't. Navaru never uh, gets my forgiveness with that donut go nut joke. Ruby's pretty awful though. I do not like Ruby at all. I might even like Gnaw more than Ruby from Lunar 1. Gnaw was pretty annoying in the first game, but I think I like him more than Ruby. Man, I am soon realizing that other than Morgana, there are worse cats in video games Dodge this <laughs> Lady luck be kind Yo I won nice Oh easy kills Trust me, we haven't even- we, we've already seen doses of how Ruby is insufferable and annoying, but there are- we're, we're just getting started. We're like four hours into the game. It'll be even worse when we're- when we're farther in the game. We'll see even more of how Ruby is annoying. We're, we're already getting decent doses, though, of how she's insufferable. Nah, Navaru is truly the worst. 
That that gonut joke just really made me want to die. Ferocious wind. I said gonut when I meant to say donut, but that donut joke just made me want to die. Lady Luck, be odd, 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 odd. Oh, dang it! Right, nine damage is not that much. It's worth the risk. Lucia, what are you doing right now? Dodge this. Definitely my two most hated uh, mascots in all of gaming, Navaru and Teddy, straight up. Lady Luck behind. Navaru and Teddy are definitely the two worst. Maybe Ruby would be part of it, but I don't know. into a chest and into the Marin, Marin, Mar Mariana. Oh my goodness. I'm, I saw that as marinara. I was like, what? Now I want pasta with marinara sauce. <laughs> um, for attack, I think. I don't want to waste my MP. you want know, a napalm shot? It'd be really appreciated. Happy hour. Yeah, the happy hour. Nice. I still can't believe he says happy hour. Power. Why are you using magic barrier? These guys don't even use magic. Oh, okay, well that hires defense, but still. Why are you buffing yourself? Lucia, I don't know why you're a buffoon in battle. that I just might eat pasta tomorrow I don't think of my dinner beforehand I'm more of a hey when I'm when it's dinner time I think of something on the spot I don't ever think hey tomorrow I'm gonna have this I don't ever think of, unless it's something I'm really craving who knows if I remember this moment if I remember this moment and still am craving pasta I might have it I don't even know what I'm having for dinner after my stream. I did eat something, but like, you know, I'm gonna have to eat afterwards. I'm not going to sleep without eating again. Probably just gonna microwave something. Yo, herb? Nice. Why are there so many herbs here? Are you a chest? I think you're a chest. Oh, nailed it. A starlight, you say? Do you love me some starlights? This game is a lot better with starlights. The first game was pretty greedy with starlights. Which is kind of where the balancing fell short. The first game never gave you star- Well, it gave you a very, very few starlights. And that kind of made it very hard to manage MP. Happy hour. I will. Not anytime soon. Definitely not this year. I do want to redux the first game though. Silver Star Story. I would like to play it again. That's like way down the line. We're talking like a year. Maybe even two years. I don't even want to play it. I don't want to play it that badly, but definitely, definitely on the list at some point in the future when I need a new Lunar game to play. Do 
even. Lady Luck, be kind. Oh, dang it. It's odd. Lady Luck, be kind. 